Tell me when you see something that makes sound. I see a speaker, which makes sound. Tech evolves fast, and it's hard to keep up, especially if you're a developer, engineer, or product manager. But don't worry, I've got you covered with the top stories this week that matter to anyone who's serious about staying ahead in the game. In today's video, we're exploring some exciting updates in the AI world that could impact your job search and career growth. We'll look at OpenAI's new models that can assist with coding tasks and more, how Alibaba and Mistral are making AI more accessible, and productivity tools from Salesforce and Microsoft that can improve your workflow. Plus, we'll discuss how AI is driving innovation and content generation, with tools from YouTube and Snap showcasing the potential for building impactful, cross-sector AI-powered systems. If you're preparing for a job in tech or want to understand how to build these tools, this video is for you. Let's dive in, but before we do, hit that subscribe button for more updates like this. OpenAI has just released their O1 Preview and O1 Mini models, which have been generating quite a bit of attention. These models represent a shift from general purpose tasks towards more specialized tasks such as reasoning and code generation. What's unique about the O1 models is how they've been fine-tuned in multiple stages. Instead of just being trained once, these models go through various stages of refinement, each focusing on areas like problem solving and understanding code logic. For developers, this means the models aren't just generating code snippets. They're actually helping you reason through problems, referencing open source repositories and bug fix histories to support your work. And here's an added benefit. They come with a smaller memory footprint. So if you're running them in environments with limited resources, they can still provide valuable code insights and assistance without overwhelming your system. This opens up new opportunities for developers to incorporate AI into their workflows, especially for things like automating repetitive tasks and debugging. Personally, I found the quality of the 4.0 mini model really good. I was able to build a little personal project to summarize my email in just a couple of hours. I did have to do some code correction, of course, but it got most of the way there in a fraction of the time. So how can you make these models work for you? These models are great at automating repetitive tasks, which can enable you to focus on designing scalable systems and tackling bigger picture challenges. You can use the AI for a lot of the groundwork, freeing you up for higher level tasks. And of course, there's this big open question every time we have a new model like this. With all of these advancements, should you still learn to code? In my opinion, the short answer is yes. While models like O1 Mini are excellent at automating parts of the development process, they are not a replacement for human engineers, at least not yet. Understanding how code works, knowing how to structure systems, and being able to problem solve creatively are still crucial skills. These models are tools, and like any tool, they're most powerful when in the hands of someone who understands the craft. Companies like Alibaba are making AI more accessible by opening up their tech stacks. With the release of the Quen 2.5 models, they're offering over 100 open source models that cover a variety of tasks, from language processing to computer vision. What makes Quen 2.5 stand out is its ability to handle both text and images, which can be especially useful in industries like e-commerce and healthcare. This is a big deal for anyone looking to build skills or create projects without the need for costly infrastructure. These models give you the tools to experiment and learn hands-on, which is key if you're preparing for a role in AI. And if you're already thinking about side projects, another new option is Mistral's free API tier, which allows you to access advanced language models at no cost. It's a great opportunity to build your portfolio and get some practical experience with AI integration, even if you're just starting out. Now let's take a look at how AI-powered tools like Salesforce's Gen AI and Microsoft 365 Copilot are helping companies streamline their everyday tasks. Salesforce's Gen AI, for instance, can automate things like email outreach, generating reports, or even predicting which sales leads are most likely to convert. These tools allow teams to spend less time on routine tasks and more time on strategy and decision making. Microsoft 365 Copilot works in a similar way, but it's integrated into tools many of us already use, like Word, Excel, and Outlook. In Word, it can help you write and edit documents more efficiently. In Excel, it assists with data analysis and generating charts. And in Outlook, it can summarize long email threads or draft responses. Even jobs in AI development have an administrative side, and having AI tools like this to streamline those tasks can be super helpful to free up your time so you can focus on development. I know I spend a lot of time writing docs, for example, and tools like this can help get that out of the way so I can go back to the fun stuff. It's also worth noting that these kinds of tools are important for job seekers in AI, not just because you might use them directly, but because they represent the type of technology large companies are developing. If you're aiming for a role in AI, you might be building similar systems in the future. Let's switch gears to how AI is being used for content generation. YouTube recently launched Veo, a suite of AI tools designed to help content creators automate much of the video creation process. 
From generating video chapters to offering real-time suggestions on topics, Veo has some exciting potential. It can even generate summaries of your content and offers an automated editing feature. Personally, I'm particularly curious about the editing feature. Editing can be super time-consuming and is a bit of an art, so I'd be really curious how that performs. Snap is also making moves in AI content generation with their AI-powered spectacles. These smart glasses allow users to capture video with real-time AI overlays, making it easier to blend the physical world with augmented reality. For those working in social media, e-commerce, or advertising, this could open a lot of opportunities. Imagine creating immersive AR experiences or interactive ad campaigns with just a pair of glasses. Understanding how to integrate AI and AR into digital products could be a huge asset, especially for product managers and UX designers. While these tools are cool on their own, I think the really neat part is the growth of cross-sector AI applications. This represents a real opportunity for anyone wanting to transition into AI from non-traditional backgrounds. You can leverage your experience in other domains, whether it's marketing, healthcare, retail, design, to help you build AI applications that are tailored to those fields. Technology is evolving quickly. Whether it's AI models improving coding or tools that boost productivity, staying current is essential. If you want to keep learning about the latest trends and tools that can help you in your career, don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments what topics you'd like to explore next.